You will have to excuse me because I've been a bit of an RPG nerd for the past six months. And that's not changing anytime soon. But I figured I would try to make a bit of a synthesis. You know, combine some of my RPG nerdisms with the political bullshit that I would say in the past. Because there has been something I've been thinking about a lot lately. Especially while I was in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. And that's the fact that there are a lot of people out there at, in the right that have fetishized Nietzsche, Evola, and Spengler. I've spoken a lot about these guys. Not as much Evola, though. And there are a lot of people out there that fancy themselves Evolian scholars. And it seems that a lot of these people all undergo the same level of criticism. And that's that people take their words far too much for granted and that their analyses on what's wrong with modernity can be hit or miss. And I figure that's true of everyone. You Technically, you have to take everyone with a grain of salt. But I think I can align, just based on the personalities of people who like these guys, I can make a, an alignment as to why they like these guys, these three in particular. The first one, the easy one, to talk about Nietzsche, because everyone has heard of Nietzsche. I don't, I don't know which one is better, Nietzsche or Nietzsche. I think of it as potato, potato, but it's probably not even the case, and whatever. His views are chaos-aligned. The ones that have been cherry-picked, the master morality, you know, egoism. The fact that he criticizes slave morality of modernity and how we look at the world in a moralistic sense. Now, too much into that, not understanding the role of chaos, competition, power. There is a nobility in that. And the Nietzsche that we all seem to look at is chaos aligned which isn't necessarily a bad thing now there is an ugly side to chaos or alignments and you could see that maybe with a Max Stirner or a Ragnar Redbeard which is probably a satire his work but People on the right, including myself, seem to take his work far too seriously. and I'm not surprised. It seems that on the alt-right, we'll take the viewpoints of just about anybody. Similarly to how the fitness community will use just about anything for supplementation purposes or to work on their gains, like whey. We do that a lot. We pretty much take anyone's philosophy and we I'm including myself in the far right for this case we're all right whatever we infuse it even if it makes no sense even if a lot of what we infuse into this one manifesto it, it doesn't work together but Nietzsche definitely fits the chaos alignment in a good way He's not just deconstructing everything and making things about pure chaos. Because being 100% chaos alignment, do what thou wilt, might makes right. If you apply this all the way far too much, then you're not really advocating for civilization. And a lot of people that support these things seem to also support Western civilization. Uh, families and all these traditional things yet they fail to make the connection that 
these kind of contradict one another if you apply chaotic viewpoints far too much. And Nietzscheans in the far right tend to be edutarians. Hell, Nietzscheans everywhere tend to be more on the edutarian side, which is a really chaos aligned side. Because it's about getting rid of the rules that we've superimposed on each other and just making things about who's better, who's more strong, who can be more opportunistic, and it's competitive. You know, law of the jungle, baby, it's, it sucks when applied too much. But then you have Evola. Not a bullachon. I'm I'm not gonna mention that shit. But then you have a Vola who's more lawful aligned. I mean, he made a criticism of social justice, saying that it contradicts true justice. And a lot of the things that he says, and a lot of people that he likes, showcases that he's a lot more lawful. I mean, anyone that advocates for any form of justice is essentially advocating for a degree of lawfulness because justice is a form of punishment. It's authority. It's It implies a form of judgment is being conducted. While you do need some degree of chaos to you know, balance it out, there's good in justice, just like there's good in chaos. I mean, there's good in law, just like there's good in chaos. A lot of people may look at some of his platitudes and they'll think, well, a lot of what he says, it's purely speculatory and people that really fetishize his mysticism, they're not really fetishizing much of value. But there's definitely a lot of good in that mysticism and sort of the antiquated viewpoints and narrative that he creates, but still, he's lawful aligned. And then, I also remember some of the things he said about music, how he criticized jazz. I know a lot of people here love jazz, but he talks shit about the syncopations, and how Western music has degenerated because of it, but what that showcases is he's being lawful about it. Jazz is a good music genre, but his criticism is consistent with his alignment, and people that consider themselves Evolian scholars do so because they're not materialists, they're not deconstructing the world, they're actually constructing, they're being lawful. And then the last guy we have is Spengler, who epitomizes neutral, because he's not too lawful, he's not too chaotic, he essentially espouses that what's going to happen will inevitably happen, we can't change anything about it, we'll just have to let nature take its course, Optimism is cowardice. He sees the nobility of what the West has become and sees that it's degenerating just like past civilizations have degenerated in the past and fallen. And that eventually spring will come, these places will return to prominence and it'll get better again. And really that's that's neutral. He's not being an vegetarian. He's not being a mystic person trying to create all sorts of new constructs. No, he's just being neutral. He's letting, not being lawful, not being chaotic, letting nature take its course. Whatever happens will happen as it has always happened. Nothing new under the sun. And... I do get that vibe from a lot of people that really like him. Hell, for a while, I really liked his ass, too, because I like to fashion myself as someone who's neutral in a lot of things. 
Maybe it's because my actions are really inconsistent, and maybe it's because psychologically people would prefer to see themselves as being moderate and well-rounded as opposed to too far into one side. I mean, we all, I think we'd all like to see ourselves as a jack of all trades because we're the main characters of our own story. Anime characters tend to be a little less mundane. But these are all good people. Their alignments are good. What would. I mean, there are bad vegetarians or people who take lawfulness into a crappy degree. And that could be seen as, pejoratively speaking, a Machiavellian or an SJW, actually. Because social justice is in and of itself lawful, but we've seen how... It's essentially bullying, and schoolyard tactics, and it sucks. But I'm not going to rant about that. I really need to fix up this room, because after being in another room for a whole week, I've realized what a clean room is. Is supposed to look like, and I don't know where to start. I'm not really overwhelmed, just... Hmm. My mind is just as cluttered as a room I'm in, and it all fits with the cliche. Cluttered room represents a cluttered mind. This has been Mr. Wonka 7. I'm out. Y'all can suck my dick. You can do whatever the fuck you want, really. You don't have to suck my dick, uh... You can you can even eat my ass. That's how about that? Eat my ass. That's a new thing.